Hi friends and welcome to Talking With Famous People. I am host Eric. This is my beautiful and lovely co-host and wife, Rachel. And the title of this video is Sexually Harassed. YouTube doesn't care. It wasn't me that was sexually harassed, unsurprisingly. It was my wife, Rachel, here. And this is not the first sort of time, this is not the first time this sort of thing has happened. As a YouTube channel, we publish things frequently. We get spiteful people come in and try to do as much damage as possible, whether that be hijacking a live stream, whether it be trying to hurt my feelings or her feelings. It's pretty difficult to hurt my feelings, so they get at me by attacking her. Um, <coughs> the thing is, the individual who was trolling us the other day on the live stream was unusually crass and horrible in their objectification slash sexualization of Rachel, saying many very unacceptable things. And additionally, one could at least infer from one of the statements a uh, sort of a threat of sexual violence. Now, that's not an actual threat because inferring a threat is not the same thing as them technically, literally making a threat. Nevertheless, ideally, women on YouTube would not have to endure this stuff. I mean, I think Rachel took it with, uh, you know, a bit of Scotch guard on her. She's uh, getting more accustomed to these sort of things, but, uh, like, did you find it? What would you respond to it? Um, it's just annoying. Um, when he, when the person um, said like started talking about my vagina, that's when I was like, oh. right. And then of course, despite initially launching a sequence of sexualizing Rachel things, saying how they want to get on her or whatever. And then when that didn't really produce the results they wanted, they started doing various body shaming things regardless of whether they made any sense or not. So the thing is, what should we as YouTube watchers, creators, think about all of this? Well, first of all, the reason I'm making this video is I saw a video the other day, the other day that said, was titled, you, I, I'm being stalked, YouTube doesn't care. And it, it was a new video and it already had like a million two views. So I thought, and the funny thing is, just before I saw the recommended video to me, Rachel and I had said how we should make a video like that about being trolled like this and see if it gets some views. That's what we're doing here. But I want to stress a few things. First of all, YouTube's already taken steps to eliminate the myriad sock puppet accounts that allow somebody to get hidden and come right back, hidden and come right back, hidden and come right back. In other words, it's no longer possible for you to make infinite YouTube channels in one day or whatever. However, experienced trolls like this guy, he has a, a back catalog of sock puppet accounts. He burned through a lot of his old sock puppet accounts. He made one new one. And I guess then he was out of resources and went away. So I don't really think that YouTube needs to take a lot more measures to prevent this from occurring because the problem isn't systemic to a lack of creator controls. I can't hide somebody, no problem. The problem is that people have too many sock puppet accounts. They've already taken steps to remedy that, and but it, you, they can't retroactively remedy pre people's old sock puppet accounts, right? So that's one thing I wanna say is I don't really think YouTube is responsible for this. <laughs> YouTube doesn't care and they probably shouldn't care because when we make public videos and stuff, we open ourselves up to legitimate critique legitimately and we should expect and anticipate illegitimate critique because people are dumb. And we're gonna face some straight up assaultive language that's unacceptable in any kind of civil environment. And we did on that night. YouTube's empowered us with the tools to shut that shit down. And like I said, the continuation of the problem links more to uh, grandfathered in stock puppet accounts than it does to current policy. Additionally, the guy who made that other video needs to get over it. 
he chose to be a YouTuber, knowing that the world is full of stupid people. Some, well, some one of which has decided to stalk him. That's the chance you take when you decide to be a public figure. That doesn't mean the media upon which you publish your public commentaries are responsible for the behavior of other random people who see you. That's not the case. Let's all get that nonsense out of our head. I will continue to protect Rachel from abusive language in every instance that I encounter. But I also know that the only way to prevent it from ever occurring is to create an environment so unfree that it's not worth being in. Um, if we want to like check everybody at the door to make sure they're not a scumbag, we're going to need to develop a scumbag Geiger counter of some sort. So anyway, that's the long and short of this video is yes, we receive bullshit. Yes, my beautiful wife is sexually harassed by YouTube. And no, I at least don't hold YouTube accountable for it. Choose your moderators wisely. Yeah.